video is on how to make a mail merge in Microsoft Word. So right now I have a blank document open. I'm going to go to Mailings. I'm going to select Select Mail Merge. And I'm going to choose Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard. And it's really going to take me step by step. It's asking me, what do I want to make? And I'd like to write a letter. So I'm going to let that default as letter. I went to the next step. It wants to know if I would like to use a template when I write my letter. And yes, I would. So I've selected start from a template. And now I'm going to choose which one I'm going to use. Since it's a letter, I'm going to choose one of the letter templates. And this is what it's going to default as. I'm next going to select my recipients, and I have my information in an Excel spreadsheet, so I'm going to browse for that. It's asking me if I'd like to pull it from the customer's worksheet, and I'll say OK. It's identifying information, for example, like last name, first name, and I'll tell it OK. I'm going to go on to the next step to write the letter. So here it wants a date. I'm going to choose today's date. I would not like to include this information, so I'm going to just highlight and hit delete. It wants the recipient's name and a salutation. I find it easier just to highlight and delete that and then just replace it. So I'm right here and I'd like to add the recipient's address. And I have the option right here for an address block. Block. So I'm going to first click where I want the information, and then I'm going to click Address Block. It's saying it's going to look like this, and that's okay. And then it drags it over here, and then when I complete the steps, it will actually populate it with the information. I like a salutation here. I'm just going to delete theirs and insert mine. I'm going to go to Greeting Line. And this is how they're going to start it. I can make changes, but I'm going to keep it as is. And now they have it listed as a greeting line. I'd like to insert a person's name in it. So first I'm going to get my letter. And I already have that. I'm just pasting that right in. And I'd like to include the recipient's first name. So I'm going to put a comma here. And then I'm going to insert the recipient's name by going to More Items. And I'd like their first name. So that's already highlighted. So I'm going to tell it to Insert and then close. And now you can see their first name will be inserted here. I'm going to close this. And I don't want this information, so I'll just hit delete. All right, so my letter is done. Again, for address block, I just clicked where I wanted the address block. I then clicked address block over here, and it just brought that over. Same thing for greeting. I first clicked where I'd want my greeting. And then I clicked on greeting line. And this is all I'm going to see right now. I'm going to preview my letter. And now they're filling in all the information. I'm going to move on to the um, next step. And this is probably the most important step. This is where I see my students make most of the errors. And you have to click this right here. Make sure you click Edit Individual Letters. And it wants to know, well, how many of them do you want to do? Well, I gave them a list of 25, so I would like all 25 inserted in here. So I'll tell it OK. It's going to think for a minute because, again, it's writing 25 letters. And now it's done. And you can see, so the first one was John Bender. And if I scroll down, then there's Claire, and it inserts their name. The only thing I'd like to make an adjustment, you can see this. The information that I inserted, they put that in gray. So, I mean, it's just apparent that it's a mail merge. So I'm going to highlight everything, and I'm going to change everything to black. Now, at least everything is a standard color. Now, when I completed that mail merge, they created a new document, and they called this Letters 2. So if you're to email this to someone, make sure you go and you save this file. And this is the file that you need to send to someone. Because if you do not edit and do that very last step and you send that previous document, they will get an error if they're opening it on another um, computer because they do not have access to that the spreadsheet. So once you've clicked edit that very last step, you get to this point and make sure you save this. All right, so that's how you do a mail merge.
If you have any questions, please email me at learn at vegetarianhomeschooler.com.